I love street food. I love fancy food. I love high tea. I love chai tea. <laughs> I'm Dr. Seuss. <laughs> what in the world? A few viewers have asked recently, why deli? So the four of us here are going to say why we like deli and why we think it gets a bum rap too often. Say deli. Deli. I love deli. And deli does get a bum rap. I love deli because I love that it has a lot of history. I love that um, the history meets the urban. What why I, deli? Why deli? Well, deli because of these two squirts for to Melissa. <laughs> They, they chose deli, so I was kind of forced into deli. But honestly, I will say, I have grown to love it so much. Um, I remember thinking back, like, the idea of moving to deli, no offense, I did not think I would like it at all. Like, I was excited about the adventure and about the internship and, like, coming to a different culture, but I pictured, like, old deli, you know, quintessential, like, bumping into everyone at all times everywhere. You know, just... it craziness um, but I've just it's not that <laughs> um, but I think my favorite thing about it is it's there is always adventure like I feel like I remember so many times in college or um, back in the States being like sitting around with friends like what should we do I don't know there's nothing to do like you don't even ha like I've never sat around here thought there's nothing to do or ever thought like what should we do it's like literally you walk outside and, and like there's an adventure and it's um, so much fun never a dull moment I love the green parks in Delhi that you can run around Lodi and listen to bird parrots fly over your head I love cold coffee in the summer I love a lychee chai in the winter I mean a drucky chai in the winter. I love a lychee chai in the summer. I love mango lassies in the hot season. I love mangoes in the hot season. What do you like about Delhi? I think Delhi has gone through a lot in its history and it has lots of stories to tell and it has lots of stories left to tell as well. Like, um, it's the capital, so when you come to Delhi and you fly in, you're like, oh, I'm home. I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to get on another flight. I don't have to get in a taxi, a bus, a train. Like, I'm home. The culture is rich um there's you can never learn enough you know it's like oh my gosh like everyone has so much heritage and um, so many reasons and history and yeah i mean look at this we're s like when were these built do you know 15 1600s yeah. here we are just sitting in the backyard of a shopping alley with these beautiful stones and ruins from the 1500s like come on you crazy? This place is awesome. People watching every day. Yeah, I love sparkling sweaters, like on men of every shape and size in the winter. I love construction hats on the back of motorcycles. I like, I love when you're driving and you see those like egg cartons stacked like five feet high on the back of a bike. It is important. It's the capital and so you've got a lot going on here and you've got a large expat communities so you've got lots of foreigners from all over the place so you've got a lot of variety when you come to um, making friends but then you also have Indians from all over the country as well so you've got lots of states represented well, like Melissa pointed out it's just a great cross-cultural city uh, not only is it great cross-culturally as far as the expat community what I think is unique about Delhi is just the indigenous diversity uh, We've got people from South India, we've got people from North India, we've got people from Northeast India, we've got people from Central India. I mean, everyone comes and migrates here. And honestly, I feel like even though there are some community tensions sometimes, personally, what from my experience, there's a lot more embracing of in Delhi than in certain other places that I've been to. Uh, where it's just part of the thing. I mean, it is a melting pot and if you don't melt, then you're just gonna have a difficult time here. Car? Lots of cars in Delhi, aren't there? Okay, okay. I love horse-drawn carriages. We have one in our neighborhood. I love that everybody's a, like your friend when you walk outside and that people are so gracious and so hospitable and love to teach you about their culture. I'm really proud of it. I love that Delhi you find like literally people from every part of India and you can learn a lot about India without even having to travel just by going to different parts of India. I mean Delhi. I like that Delhi almost every stop along the metro you have some different like setting or scene or background um, from like old Delhi to Hoskos to like Tibetan colony or whatever. 
Um, and I love you can travel in the metro. I love they have a ladies' car in the metro, and that all the ladies are like super friendly and get really cozy. Uh, I think it is a melting pot, and I I have that respect for it. Yeah. Uh, so no, I don't think I don't think Delhi is. I don't resent being in Delhi. I actually like Delhi. Uh, I I would I do pick it over Bangalore. I do pick it over Mumbai. I do pick it. I haven't been to Calcutta, so I can't make that claim yet. Another big plus for Delhi is the fact that you can still film here. Mumbai is the home of Bollywood, and any time you whip out a camera in Mumbai, someone's going to be like, do you have a permit for that? Where, unless you're filming around the embassies here in Delhi, pretty much people don't mess with you and they leave you alone. You can film wherever and however you want here in Delhi, and that's a huge plus for our channel because we are just man on the street doing our thing and filming it as we go along in life. So we need to be able to, to film. So totally. Delhi's great for that. You know, people and people are always saying, well, you want to be in the film industry, right? And I was like, yeah, I do. But the film industry has so many like traditions and bars to entry, just like it does in America. Same in Hollywood. Uh, but it's just such a close, close knit, close knit community and close walled off to invaders that you know, if you want to get in, you have to have someone on the inside. Um, so it, proximity doesn't matter in the digital world. Like I could move to Mumbai and just sit there and try to get jobs all the time and it wouldn't make a difference and I've just I've had enough experiences with the film industry in America just just a little tiny bit of experiences I've had and it's just shrug that's that's the whole industry it's just like oh you want to be in here <laughs> get in line the line starts like a million people back that way <laughs> and you know it's just it's just basically you have to suck up to get in you gotta shovel crap to get in and uh, it's the same way with the Bollywood film industry so it's like, I don't want to I don't want to get in that line I'd rather just make stuff and you know if they come and call me I'd be happy to play a role in whatever capacity I'm not gonna sit there and wait in line to create something when we have the internet we can just create something anyway and so like Melissa said like we can do that here we don't have to worry about the permit problem yet uh, and we can create YouTube videos and um, it's just more fun I you can find really good food from everywhere in India like South Indian North Indian like Miso, momos, like before Delhi, before India, I didn't even know that momos existed. Like that's not cool. Like momos are amazing. Yeah, I like that little kids can teach you how to play games with rocks for like four hours straight and that kids have an imagination and that kids run around and play and interact with the world around them. If you are in Delhi, you have to be willing to find the good in things and you have to be willing to let the little hidden gems really excite you about the city. Uh, I started loving Delhi when I started reading books. The first book I read about Delhi was City of Jinns by William Dalrymple and then the second book I read about Delhi was Delhi Adventures in a Mega City by Sam Miller. And both of those authors really helped form my love for Delhi. Their experiences in the city and how the things that they came to find and love and get excited about the city really helped me to open up my heart to Delhi. And so I thank both of those authors very much. You're gonna have some unexpected, awesome things happening as a result of Delhi in the next decade. I love the idea that like what's mine is yours, what's yours is mine. Um, and it's just this one big family, like poor meets the rich meets that, like all different castes and religions and cultures and um, come together and yeah, share life together where, yeah, sorry not to compare it to America. America's great too. Just, I love Delhi and I can't imagine, yeah, it will be a weird adjustment whenever I move back because I love this place. <laughs>